Good morning, Russell. How are you doing? I'm Wakan. How are you, brother? I'm excellent. Um, glad to speak with you again. Again, I write for a Detroit-based publication, so the few questions I have are uh, of the interest of, of, of the city and the things we write about. Um, so let's start with the fun stuff. Um, uh, Charles and Mabel. Yes. Now, uh, question. <laughs> right. <laughs> Did you know uh, that the the uh, the Easy Rest is actually a real a real place known uh, for secret lovers in the city? I, I did from 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 Randy. Randy told me, you know, about that. We 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 have a there's a spot in L.A. They got one. It's called the Snooty Fox. So <laughs> they're all over. <laughs> I got you. I, I got you. Yeah, we you know when that. Uh, the whole thing of the receipt dropping out the pocket and then later on the matchbook and I and you know that that that's a big deal because that has, I don't know exactly you know how that particular place evolved into being known for that but it just happened <laughs> so that was just very cool to see that everything was thought of within the series to keep it all authenticated to the city. Well you know them hourly rates you know that uh, yeah second thing mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Uh, second thing, backing up a little bit to, um, I believe it was the third episode of the series. Mm -hmm. uh, prior to the series, were you aware, well, three-part question all on the same topic. Were you aware of Devil's Night? And if you were aware of it, um, would you think about it? Would you feel about it? Or just find it out? As far as Devil's Night and also the, the reaction which led to Angels Night in which volunteers sought to discourage uh, people from uh, starting fires. You know, I had kind of cursory heard of Devil's Night, you know what I mean, through like music and songs and stuff like that, you know what I mean? But, um, and I think there's a, I think of watching a documentary, I had heard about it, but I didn't really fully have the full depth and breadth of what it represented. And I, and I had not heard of Angels, I hadn't heard of Angels Night. Um, mm -hmm. And so, but I mean, I think it's remarkable. I think it's beautiful. I think that, you know, that's what the cities need. I mean, and, and who are those, the brothers now who are rocking around with um, uh, helping people? Um, yeah. I can't remember their name. Uh, New Era Detroit. Yep. I'm sorry? New Era Detroit. New Era, New Era Detroit. Detroit. Okay, yeah. See, I mean, like just doing that, like these, these mm -hmm. things are saying, hey, we're here to take our city back. We're here to protect our residents, our people, and we're meant here to make everybody safe. I think things like that are definitely needed all across the country in that. And the fact that, you know, Detroit's going to turn something negative and turn it and spin it into a positive, I think is a beautiful thing. Got you. And did you have, um, how do you feel about just seeing both sides of that being portrayed in this particular series, as far as seeing the, okay, here's the negative, you know, people start setting fires, but also here's the positive, you know, a dad with his sons, getting them out to understanding that, you know, we, we can police our own, you know, just seeing you know, that portrayed. You know, I, I think it's beautiful. And I, you know, again, hats off to, to Randy for being very cognizant and very purposeful about showing the family about, and, and this is the truth. This was the family. This is what happened. And so I think that it's important that uh, viewers see that. And I also mm -hmm. think it's, it's more importantly, I think that it's a reflection of, you know, what happens, what you get when there are men in the house, you know what I mean? And, but also I think what we're seeing is that we, and I've been saying this, we're talking about how the country and how the cities and states let down their populace down, let their people down. It wasn't the people themselves. The people have pride, the people have integrity. You know what I mean? They're purposeful. They want the best for their families. They're present. But when you deal somebody a bad hand over and over and over again, what do you expect them to do? What do you expect their offspring to do? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So again, I, I don't point the whatever happened to the Flinnery boys, I can't necessarily point the finger at them nor point the finger at Charles. This is something that happened from, you know, from the from the higher ups, from the federal, from the government. See, this is a trickle down effect. Mm -hmm. And and I think that that's what I appreciate about Randy really showing. You know what I mean? That again, we're dealing with a broken city and a broken country, not a broken family. Gotcha. Well, Mr. Hornsby, that's all I that's all, that's all I needed. We're doing a BMF wrap up piece, and uh, that was perfect. All right, appreciate it. Thank you. 
All right. You enjoy the rest of your day and the rest of your weekend, sir. You too.